What's up, boat friends? What a gorgeous day here in Duluth, Minnesota. We have the legit star of the show, biggest ship on the Great Lakes, Polar Tagurtha, going outbound, filled with coal on the way to Michigan, aerial lift bridge all the way up 135 feet, 77 degrees here in Duluth. Fantastic weather. Five mile per hour wind out of the east. You can see those flags lightly flapping from over here on the south pier. Give you a shot of the turnout there on the north pier. I pan kind of slow. And you got grandma's restaurant there in the background. There's the visitor center. Give you a shot down the south pier. Got a few people out there having some fun. Notice a person out here kind of chilling out on a pontoon. I also wanted to show you these birds having a fun time. Simultaneously, you can see the birds and the people down there on the beach. On the park point side well, let's just go check out the star of the show i'm gonna walk down here low riptide warning for the people swimming on the park point beach you can see the green flag well here's the star of the show paul r tagurtha be fun to watch. You can see the clouds in the background looking at West Duluth. But let me get you quickly caught up here in marine traffic. PRT, as you can see on the way to St. Clair, doing just over three knots, rounding the corner, coming towards the Duluth area lift bridge. That's where we are at. It was over at Cement, loading coal. That's Superior Midwest Energy Terminal. Both friends, I got to ask you, does the PRT ever get old? I know I've posed this question a few times, but it, it just doesn't. The same excitement, the same enthusiasm I have every time I see it. It's the largest ship on the Great Lakes. How can't you get pumped up checking it out? Wanted to give you a different perspective. You can kind of check the people out on the pier, just like you're standing here with me. Well, before she goes onto the bridge... Hopefully we get a salute as well from the captain. There's a decent crowd, so I'm guessing there will be a salute between the bridge and the vessel. Paul R. Tegurtha, as I mentioned, largest ship on the Great Lakes, known as the Queen of the Great Lakes, 1,013 feet in length, built in 1981, owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company. It was built at the American Shipbuilding Company out of Ohio, carrying capacity a huge 68,000 tons. It's equipped with the bow thruster, 1,500 horsepower. Number of hatches, 36. Five cargo holds, two controllable pitch propellers, two rudders, two diesel engines, pushing out 16,000 horsepower. So real deal legit when it comes to power with a huge cargo load like this. You definitely need power. Take a slow stroll down together instead of sitting stationary. You can see the shadow of the bridge. See the logo there, Interlake Steamship Company. Take a look at the dual anchors. You can see that symbol. That just means there's a bow thruster below, so it's kind of a danger area. You don't want to go below that. few crew members right there on the bow wearing those hard hats checking things out and here comes the bow right under the Duluth area lift bridge you can see the, the shadow is cast from the bridge creating some cool contrast right there the PRT is definitely a worker you can see the the vessel has plenty of scrapes, 
and scratches to prove that. It's so hard to put into words how huge this vessel is. You know, obviously a thousand thirteen feet in length. I like to point out that a mile is five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. So I mean, you know, you're a fifth of the way there, no doubt about it. It's a better shot of the superstructure. Have the decibel meter all ready to rock here. Take a look at that flying bridge. Never gets old. I love taking a look at that on the PRT. You know, I go back on other videos and I try to determine some of the equipment that's on there. Give you a shot of that boat right here. Boat friends, I really wanted to say something in the middle of that. We have a brand new record holder. It's not the JRB anymore. It's the Polar Tegurtha. 125.3 decibel reading. I don't know if I'm sitting here with an echo. There definitely was an amplified noise here from the whistle slash horn. That was awesome. And, you know, I did jump a little bit. I've heard a lot of these whistles go off but boy i'll tell you that i looked down i knew it was going to be in the 120s and that just beat the current record holder the james r barker so now we got a new one and guess what it's the queen of the great lakes the prt that's legit stern on the vessel going outbound we wish the captain and the crew a safe voyage to michigan we got a new record holder so not only the largest ship on the great lakes but now the loudest ship on the great lakes so well, friends, there you go. Another reason to love that PRT. Well, listen, I appreciate you watching my videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. As you know, if you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.